Herman is still skeptical about Aikido in a rough and tumble. His instructor agrees to operate on the principle of gentleness. Hi, this is Shadi, and today I want to talk to you about Koichi Tohe, someone that started judo as a young man, but then got a, I would say, pulmonary disease, something that affects the lungs, and thus he had to stop, and then went on to Aikido, founding his own I would say expression now people call it ki aikido and so in the 1950s he would have this uh, randori with uh, an american man that was very skeptical of aikido when they visited sensei and this is what happened so here um, the randori starts the man is larger and you can see here that tohe is sizing him up basically so it starts uh, immediately with like a, a judo expression Tohe is very much preventing him from uh, gripping, but here once he grips and sees his lunging forward, he goes to a very, I would say, Aiki like technique, and it's a great choice of technique, which is Uke Otoshi, someone lunging forward. You have, you know, you're turning like a wheel motion and you take them forward as they lunge at you, and it's a very Aiki like um, technique. So here the grip fighting continues. And uh, the man is really having troubles, even though Tohe is uh, somewhat not uh, very much um, comfortable, but still the man is having a lot of trouble uh, fighting him. And uh, this is something that I really want to address. And no matter how long I'll talk about it, um, unfortunately, only judo slash sombo guys will understand this kumikata or grip fighting standing up is a world of its own and there is just so much uh, details into it so much subtlety so much tricks so much strategies uh, you can study kumikata for years and years and years and still there is something you know how to dominate the sleeve even though you're both holding each other's sleeves for example a left versus right uh, battle and still you can feel that they are dominating your grip and you have essentially no grip uh, same with you know gripping on the scapula level uh, the lapel uh, a deep Russian arm I'm sure a wrestler whether it is folk style freestyle Greco will tell you the same thing when they you know they're pummeling um, overhooks double overhooks underhooks uh, you know when they chop the hands it's a very subtle and technical battle um, there's just so much detail behind it the throw is just the end of it this is the last thing that they do but how to get to it the same thing when you're setting up a guard you know uh, maintaining it hooking wedging for bjj guys i'm talking the baron bolo how to get to the back it's not the choke at the end when you take the back but everything else that goes to it and the same thing for the very subtle world of grip fighting and how it can be very efficient taking someone that's very big uh, here you can see I think he went for a wrist lock like a very simple wrist twist or a kotegeshi uh, again when someone's posture is completely broken and they're being swayed uh, you can easily take their limb and stretch them out and then you know, twist the wrist and they will fall easily again this is one of the big benefits of kumikata or grip fighting um, so here randori continues uh, again keeping him swaying keeping moving constantly moving um, here it, it's more like you can see him circling around you can see him here uh, you know using his entire body to put him down I would say this is of a like a forced or uh, uh, yeah I would say a forced Sumi Otoshi or a Kukinage um, Kyuzo Mifune's favorite throw and it takes in my opinion tons of mastery to do because there's no levering on the end whether it's on the hips or the legs it's all upper body it's completely timing or you have to force it when someone's really lunging at you or you know they're trying to you know pull you back you can also do Sumi Otoshi it's like Uki Otoshi but the other way around so here um, it continues the man is clearly reluctant at this point Tohei look at Tohei's uh, posture completely up upright his his arms are bendable or unbendable but here it's a basic shove i think they call this shomen ate in tomiki aikido i could be wrong so here continues the man is clearly larger and 
here goes for a I would call it Ushiro Kiri Otoshi this this is a great technique by the way if you are against multiple attackers where you get to the back and you just use your entire core to twist around and then uh, take them off balance and drop them to get to the other guy um, Ushiro Kiri Otoshi uh, great technique you don't have to really engage but you take them down at the same time so here he goes into what they call today um, a 100 kilo position um, you can also see Kano Sensei doing it here in this photo so again great pin um, it's really the basic stuff so uh, when an Aikido guy was challenged he is he used his judo but with an Aiki like expression or choice of technique I would say so he was beaten this larger man was beaten with uh, Ugo Kikata and Kumikata you know just basic movement and grip fighting and really affected him you see um, this is something that uh, I was trying to say when I was showing in a way the, the grip fighting and the secrets you can learn it for years and still find tips and tricks to really dominate someone when you dominate the grip fighting and you are moving around it is incredibly important first of all you're moving around so being hit or being hit effectively uh, in my opinion goes out uh, the window the other thing is that when you are when you truly break their posture and keep them moving around mentally it is very destabilizing and striking you or taking something out of their pocket and uh, you know really trying to do harm would become the least of their problems their first problem is you know they're panicking uh, imagine you are like really bent over and someone is you know twisting you around like a tornado it's really an un uneasy feeling you get especially when you get into judo and this happens to you uh, you feel like it's uh, like how do i fix this uh you know they're really gonna take me down and it's not a pleasant feeling so learning critical uh, kumikata skills is crucial for self-defense and uh you know defeating larger opponents i always show i always say this um but also you know getting the clinch over and under that's a new range of grip fighting on its own wrestlers will tell you a lot about it or all jujitsu will tell you a lot about it sumo wrestlers will tell you all about it but in terms of gi grip fighting again this is a world of its own and it's not an easy thing to do uh, again it's not just the gi it can be done with a t-shirt uh, wrist grabs um, you know a plain jacket cardigan whatever it still can be done um, Tohe here did not beat him with like very sophisticated techniques you saw the choice of techniques um, but what really won him the battle was the kumikata and the ugo kikata and really destabilizing the man because once they're destabilized you can easily do whatever you want to them um, Kano said something very similar so if you have anything else to add let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have um, exclusive content for the patrons only and your support would mean greatly also do not forget to check out josh simon's shop and articles in the description below this was shady and as always thank you for listening